sneak away that win. Although it was a little close, he actually talks about how he's a Mario main, right? He didn't yes. like, he doesn't like going Mario against the likes of Palutena, which is Duh. why you're seeing the Roy come out and about. He feels like when Mario is off stage, it's just like he's at such a disadvantage. And who cares when they're oh. off stage if you're just gonna control the stage completely right out the gate, you know? Yeah, so we're, we're in for a bloodbath here, uh, Aussie, as you know, as you can already tell by the early stages of this game. Both these characters, I feel like, can kind of take turns uh, knocking the air out of each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. If that was Krob, it would have worked. Just That's saying. Just saying. <laughs> if that was Krob, it would have worked. It's it's hard to curb your enthusiasm music here. I cannot. <laughs> Okay, right. we're back center. We're back on PS2. Yeah, so Sauce getting himself off to a strong start here, but Gans, again, just setting up shop on the ledger here, and the unfortunate uh, life of Roy. Uh, that recovery is still probably one of the hardest parts about this character. Well, Sauce was trying to recover that low because he, it's it's difficult to challenge against Palu's counter when you're oh, trying yeah. to recover his Roy, so that's why he purposely tried to go that low, but just it, it's hard to time it to get that ledge specifically. Now, Gans starting to carry away with this lead, but gets decimated by the sweet spot of that up tilt. So Roy, he wants to land the sword. Uh, he wants to land hits the base of the sword. There we go. Gons goes off stage, and that's why it is difficult for someone with an active hitbox on their upbeat to get back to stage against Palu. Oh, yeah. And Gons is definitely, uh, he's probably going to hit that 9 out of every 10 yeah. times, but Gons, he has some of the best reaction speed out of any of the players that I know. As you see right here, putting up a clinic on how to uh, ledge trap somebody with Palutena. Yeah. I mean, he puts up the explosive flame to force out the double jump from his opponent so that he can just easily, you know, get the re-grab or nair. Okay, let's see if Sasuke can try to get something going here. He's got him against the ledge. Gon's trying to play with it. That looked like a missed input. I think he was going for the back here. I'm off assuming that jab. so. Oh, what a mix-up. Okay. See, Sauce going for these very uh, creative uh, attempts at It would have caught the ledge jump, that back air. Right. So I, I, I get why he was trying to go for that. Again, another neutral air. Catches his ledge option. Baits out the air dodge. Too low to catch the forward air. Nice. Empty hop from Gons. Just catching him completely off guard with that offstage pressure. He is done for. Good night. Yeah, unfortunate stuff right there from Sauce. Um, he uh, exasperated his double jump and then just jumped right into the explosive flame, leading things up perfectly. I forgot to get back there. And you saw uh, a strategy there at the end of the game, which Gons implements all the time. Instead of roll behind back throw, it's mm -hmm. cross up jump back throw. So yeah. It's like Gonzalo never stopped playing this. And this is why like, the, there's a little bit of a, a skill difference here, right? Gons is one of the players that people are kind of assuming is going to win this tournament. There's he was one of my favorites to win. Yeah, this. a lot of people so. were saying he's the favorite. The player coming all the way from New Jersey. He's ranked fourth on the PR. But before him, you know, it was supposed to be Shoyo James, actually, that was the one to win this tournament. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, he's dealing with some uh, family issues. So yeah, he's James not dealing with some personal today. issues. So yeah. thoughts are with you, big guy. Yeah, uh, same, dude. Hope all's good. So let's jump into game number two here in town and city. We got Roy fighting off against Palu yet again. Not going to switch over to the Mario. Instead, he believes in the Roy in this matchup. I don't blame him. I don't think this matchup's horrible. This is really hard. You see Gon's going for Baroque right there, trying to uh, catch uh, Sauce with a down air, but... It would definitely be devastating, you know? You get that spike off stage, sends home a message. I like that fast fall into the upbeat to get back on the stage as soon as possible. And now we're seeing a little bit more patience from Sauce. You know, he's delaying these jabs, waiting for Gonzalez to make the first move. Yeah, man. Okay, so there's a sour spot of back air again. Gets the jab, and he's just a little short. Yep, just a little yeah. off on the timing for the raw back air. This is not the time to be messing up these back airs, too. You need to solidify these kills, especially against the, the caliber of uh, the great Gonzalez. Up B out of shield. Not going to send off him off just yet. 140%. Not on. stuck in the, in the corner, though, but able to, you know, brute force his way out of it. Oh, speaking of brute force, man, my man swung. Yeah, you man. saw him fly up that forward tilt. The sweet spot of those uh, hitboxes just sounds so good. Yeah, it sounds good, and it, it, it's you know whenever you see that double edge dance coming out from him, everyone likes to compare that to like the little bit break cross slash. But now he's out of jumps, goes for the early up B to catch him. Great Gonzalez was thinking he was gonna recover low, tries to go off stage with the uh, nair, send him flying. Oh, a little baby tap, and Gon's getting a kill from disadvantage state. My God, yeah, as you guys at home get to hear a uh, glimpse at one of my favorite uh, star KO screams. The entire game. Dude, Roy's Roy sounds like he is actually yeah. being tortured. He's writhing in pain. Yeah. He might as well be shouting freedom, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's 
okay. what the ledge trap option is here uh, from Sauce, but Gon's able to you know, get his way back down with neutral air, the, uh, the answer to almost everything. And I like that he used that platform as a way, a means to escape that ledge pressure. Okay, G Gonzalez recognized that he was kind of delaying that double edge dance slightly, so he's able to go for the grab before the fourth swing. Smart awareness, and now he is dead. And that is like the deficit of Roy, right? He is off stage that deep with no jump. He is not coming back to stage. Completely exploitable off stage. And Peloton is so good at dragging the likes of Roy off stage too with the likes of Nair. Oh yeah, neutral air is like such a great like everyman tool. That could have been he got something crazy. Well, it was still we still got the stocks. So that's all that mattered. He actually got the two frame with that down air. Unfortunately, it wasn't the sweet spot, so it popped him up. But still got the back air right afterwards. Off to go for the higher one. Fantastic parry getting the down tilt right afterwards. Now we're seeing the dash attacks coming out from Gons. Nice catch with that grab. I was gonna say, get off the platform. You are in danger. Nah, he is dead. Exactly. That's all Gons needs. He just needs to go off stage, commit to the counter, catch the blazing sword, and then he's done for. Yeah, man. I just, I, it, it just stinks as you see right there. All that setup just mm. because he was trying to fight Gons on the higher ground, and you know. Like I said, Roy's recovery is just not that great when you're forcing yourself to recover higher than you already have to. Like, you know. Now, do you think that he might switch over to Mario? Do you think this might be a thing for him? Because he did talk about how he hates fighting in disadvantage right. against Palo with Mario, so. But Roy doesn't look any better, honestly. I think he's thinking about it. Yeah, he's, he's hovering over the character. Look at him. Going yeah. back to Roy. Listen, I understand it because like he hasn't gotten like the brakes blown off him so bad, mm -hmm. to where it doesn't feel like he can't do it. You know it what just, I mean? it, I'm sure it just feels so awful for him just to get knocked off stage once, and then all of a sudden it, yeah. he's like in such mortal danger. The best way to get us, the best way to use your secondary, use it. Yeah, I understand. You know, it's, it's you know winners semifinals of a big ass tournament, but like you know, there's only one way to learn, and that's with practice. So. Right. So here we go, 2-0 lead for Greg Gonzalez. Sauce sticking with the Roy. Let's see if he can try to make him some magic work. Goes for the immediate up B. Instead of trying to delay that time. It all becomes a mix-up game. And what time, what, what's his timing with the recovery, you know? Uh, it's caught by the Nair. Yeah. That's going to be the stock. Yeah, it, there's nothing he could have done. He tried to go for the air dodge. Because, you know, Roy's got a lot of aerial mobility when he goes for the directional air dodge, too. But it requires him to be kind of high in the air. And yet another neutral air train from the right side to back to the left. He, I just feel like Sauce can't play oh, the game. Man. What is this? Oh, he's dead. He's dead again. Jeez, man. What in the I world? Think he was a zero to death, too. I don't think he got touched that entire stock. And you know this has got to do some mental damage to Sauce. Like, the, for the mental fortitude that you need to keep your composure in this, this setting. You're down 2-0. He needed that big read. Yeah, he needed that yeah. momentum shift. He thought he was going to go for directional air dodge to the left, which is why he charged it then in that direction. So Gon's trying to finish it off completely. Yeah, Sauce is still continuing to fight, though. And he's not hes not completely out of it yeah. yet, at least to yeah, his own regard. Right. And Gon's knows and fights against Krom all the time and the likes of Shoyo James. So it's, yes. it's very similar. There's a lot of similarities we'll see between the matchup of fighting him. And it's the same thing with fighting Roy. Okay. Once again, Sauce back in disadvantage, but Gons, again, he's just putting on a clinic right now. This one, he can kind of just go for swing for defenses, and he'll probably end up coming out on top. And another fantastic recovery from Sauce, but he gets put off stage one more time. Down to try to pop him back up into the air. Played patient, gets the up air off of the sweet spot jab, and that's going to be the stock finally on the mark for Sauce, but he's already bleeding. He is hurting. He is thriving in pain, and he's dead. <laughs> He's there gone. We go. so he put him out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no zoom in, no nothing. He, he just tossed him. He got yeeted. The sauce got tossed. The sauce got tossed indeed. So that's going to be sauce going down to loser's quarters to 